just entered the San Isabel National Forest. Um, we're in Colorado Mountains, and we are going to a place called Bishop's Castle. And I'm going to try to film as much as I can. You are absolutely going to love it. This castle was built by one man, and it's an actual castle. It's the only castle in the world that has ever been built by just one man. Just way cool. In my opinion, this could be one of the wonders of the world. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and hit that thumbs up button. That's how you know. let us know if you're thankful. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed like we enjoyed it. Well built with his little skid steer. Toyota pickup, I believe it is. Folks, this, I cannot, I cannot even begin to tell you that my camera is not doing justice for this, this castle. For it indeed is truly a castle. Uh, I'm completely speechless of what I'm seeing with my own two eyes. And remember, this is built by one man. One man who's been harassed and hackled by the federal government to the point of almost extinction. Had to drive them half crazy, I'm sure. Because that's how they are. They're government bullies that absolutely hackle people into submission. Then they have the nerve to make laws against anti-bullying. And I'm thinking to myself, anti-bullying? federal government is the biggest bully of them all. One man made this lifelong fighting cancer right now. On a, it's absolutely only made for um, volunteer uh, donations. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I'm just not going to be able to do justice to this real-life castle. I'm going to try to put... Uh, more uh, details of how tall this thing is to give you some perspective. Forgive me for spending a lot of time on these plywood signs he made and drew himself. Um, but um, this is the legalities to fight the federal government. Um, and this bureaucracy that our founding fathers would declare independence from. Again, folks, I don't think I'm doing justice. Absolutely amazing. This is what America is all about. What it's intended to be. Independence. Absolutely beautiful steel work here. Unbelievable. Breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking. Folks, I cannot explain to you what I'm seeing here. Absolutely gorgeous. I have seen men, I have been from a construction background and been with great carpenters, but never in my lifetime have I seen so much talent and ingenuity and imagination of what I'm seeing here today. Unbelievable. This has got an elevator in it, folks. An elevator. Check this out. It is actually 100% an elevator. I imagine to get his rock to the floor. Hey, let's not do the graffiti. I mean, it's all over the place here. It's really sad.
Really sad. This is a must see. The Bishop's Castle. Like I said, folks, we're not even high yet. And I absolutely adore his safety measures. Look at this. These are rope, okay? It's going off to nothing yet, which I imagine someday, Lord willing, he would attach those two. But this is a common sense issue. At the end of this video, I will provide much more details. Now this dragon actually breathes fire. Mr. Bishop, my hat is off to you. This is a one-man show. He made this in 1980, the, the dragon itself. And that's him there. Absolutely a monkey. Wow. Wow. Only one rail. Rail here. No rail there. And right now we're probably... Oh, I have no idea how far we're up we are. Look at this. And that jaw moves, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Am I doing justice here? Am I doing justice? Sure, you can put your foot right in the picture. You are from that I'm trying to do justice. Do you think camera can do justice to this, Alicia? No, not at all. That I don't know how many so... helmet has it. It's beautiful. Yeah. That's the scaffolding this fellow's working off of. Mr. Bishop, my hat's off to you. And I'm I'm not even halfway up that tower yet. There's the elevator shaft again from the outside view. And we have all metal scaffolding. Absolutely gorgeous, folks. I'm just trying to give you a view of what we're doing here. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Say hi, Warren. Hey, Papa. <laughs> I love those boards. Yeah. My son is up there. He must be nuts. Well, I suppose I'll be up there too. Can't believe he did that. I mean, you start to look how tall this is. Okay, let's go very This reminds me of something Brother Mark Soberg would make. Well, guys, I made it. To go to the very top, I have to go that much farther. I may or may not. We'll see. Just came up all these winding steps here. Left everybody else behind. You really can't see, but it's pretty cool. There's the skid steer, the gift shop, the road. Everyone say hi. Hi, Mom. Well, I made it to the top. Yes, I am a little shaky, but I did it. The only thing a little higher is the top of the tower right there, but I am sitting on the very top step of Bishop's Tower. Here's the aerial view all around. Now it is time to start descending these steps. And yes, 
I will be doing it sitting flat on my bottom. Actually, I'm kind of walking this part here. It's not too, too terrible. Other than I'm, I don't know how many feet off the ground and there you go, see that out? That's the top of the gift shop over there. It's a little narrower right in here. Yes, my legs are slightly shaking, but I'm doing really good. Honestly, didn't know I had this in me. Coming back around, I can hear Luke and the kids talking down below me now. I have to say that Bobcat looks a lot bigger from right here than it did from up there. <laughs> Now, if you're still watching this, that means you're interested. And this is a must-go if you're an intellectual and you're interested in something like this. I'm telling you, this is breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking what he has done here. Um, the end of this video, I'm basically showing you some signs, um, legalities, how he fought the federal government. One man show here that... Um, built all of this every bit of this and you cannot believe how big this thing is um it I, I mean really it's 16 stories high 16 stories high um 160 feet tall um, he bought this in 1959 at the age of uh, 15 uh, for 450 dollars it's two and a half acres um, he started the stone cabin in 1969 at age 25 in, uh, let's see, we're at age uh, 19, oh, in 1972 he started his castle. In 1980 he built the dragon um, that, that can breathe fire. Oh, it actually does breathe fire. We didn't get to see that. This is not going to do justice, folks. It's amazing what what, what, what one man can do if he sets his mind to it. Himself. This man took the federal oh, government on single-handedly. Um, they tried to get him for taking stone and, and just absolutely genius of what he did here. Is a trip. Me and my We're family had a great Colorado, time. He doesn't Colorado. charge a penny to come in there. Um, that's that's the cool thing. It's one of the ways he can still keep this open to the public. This here is where he here. stays. Um, uh, when he's working, you know, overnight or something, um, you can tell it's all about the castle. Oh, I mean, amazing. all about the castle, the place. Yeah, there's it's boards laying amazing. around. There's some trash laying around. But you got to remember, this is a one-man show. A no one's account. helping him. No one's nothing. So I encourage you when you're there. Hey, if you see some litter, pick it up, throw it in the trash can. Um, that's just being a good, responsible Christian, Must anyways. And um, you know, help the guy out um, by at least not littering and graffiti and everything. Poor guy, I'd go nuts if somebody did that to my stuff. Um, like I said, you can take your family there. Um, it's only on donation basis, so amazing. Here's some more legal um, talk of what he's talking about for all the um, self-willing taxpayers out there. Um, the man is genius. You might blow him off as uh, nuts. But actually, he just read this dusty old thing called the Constitution. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bumped into some folks up here. Would you like to give your names? Uh, this is Ryan. And Becky. Becky, okay. We're at Bishop's Castle, and I cannot put into words what I'm seeing. What do you guys think? It makes a big difference when you look down and you see the ground from about 100 feet up. <laughs> I think it's... A labor of architectural love, really. Yeah, absolutely. He, I, he I loves love building, and you can see that he loves he loves this structure yeah. from you know what has gone into it. It's unbelievable. Oh yeah. Yeah, my video camera is not doing justice. That's all right. This i this i six plus <laughs> is not doing justice. Thank you, folks. Thank, Thank you. you.